Sério? Let us do matter of life and death. That one involves Mistress Madigal. So that is more important than the main missions. Mission of hunting something else other than a person. And we all know what that thing is! Begins with poo and ends in tang. In here? Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. She's living with these weirdos? They are weirdos. Some pepper. Someone stash in the hooch. Always. After I loot you. Yes, Geralt? Feel alright? Hmm. So so. Why do you ask? <laughs> when you slit Menga's throat, and then you were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Ouch. Feel all right? Hmm. So so. Been wondering, how's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. Why would you hang around in a city where they're hunting you? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. I'll do it. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other. Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Trout? Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Now there's a plan.
Spider knife. Kind of change this around here. We got a lot of. First off, I don't need that poison thing anymore. I need a real consumable here. Raw meat. Five second duration. Mmm, chicken. Alright. What exactly is dimeridium? I gotta look that one up. I'm assuming it melts faces. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. 180 meters away. Ooh. Like, oh, punching's not gonna work, man. Sword, please. Well, it's more than one. Shit. Made his torso fly with this just little hit. Well, I'll tell you one thing, the Horson does not want to be found if he keeps sicking his men on me like that. Who carries around one crown? One! I need... Some sort of... Oh wait, there's a forge right here. Yes! Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe go top notch. Sell, 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 sell. Need to repair some stuff here. Ding, 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 ding. I want to wear my Witcher gear. The Witcher gear looks so much cooler than the gear that I'm wearing right now. Alright. Blue tunic. Interesting. Blue tunic with keys. Do you have keys? Yeah. Trout. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. Such a trap. I have my sword out. Actually, put on my con right away. <laughs> I did, what, they, what do you mean I had set them? Oh my god. Oh, they're oh, okay. They're attacking him too. I thought he was leading me into a trap. Really, dude? I just killed your friends. You don't want to mess with this. What did they want from you? Oh, no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the Witch Hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I... It, it just weren't what I expected, since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Bagel, bud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Bagel, bud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of her. So what's this about? Be 
me straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weird. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss, that Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? The hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Bagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. 22 Take inches? The gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Girl's a twig, man. You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Uh, Been there before. Uh, uh, Ellie's a friend of Dandelions. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Man, I knew I should have bought that stuff when I had a chance to. I have to walk all the way there now. Uh, I think I already bought a fox mask, didn't I? Yeah, I did. What does the fox say? It says optional. I don't actually have to buy the doublet. But I feel like if I suit up, it will exponentially increase my chances of getting laid. Worth. Worth! It's all worth! Just like in real life. There you are. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection. Yes. Glad to take it. <laughs> they look course, ridiculous. <laughs> Triss's fox mask. Why are they so expensive? Why? Oh man, I should have just kept it from last time.
$141 for shoes? Are you kidding me? Give me the cheap ones. Oh, man. I should have saved them from last time. I look like a tool. And I just blew like 600 crowns. Uh, do what you do for love. What's with the soles of these shoes? Guard was definitely sleeping at the post. <laughs> Come on. Your floor's made of dirt. It is dirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh la la. Oh my. Certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Damn, doublets chafing my armpits, and it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. The lady, well, then, shall we go? The lady approves. Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. Leave your swords here, please. What? <sighs> Fine. Pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. Hello. Come now, don't cry. No use pretending you don't know. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now. But before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? The fuck? You asked for it. I'm here to defend your honor. Fist fight. Come on. Come on. Come back, you coward. I'm not Hard done with you. Work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning and all that. Weird. He gave up fighting. Moritz, what are you doing here? 
you to Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Ouch. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenfell. Tell you the story later. Dyfenfell, what a douche last name. 